to understand uh, other effects of inertia of rest. So, suppose for example, you are going in a bus. Okay. Now, when you are sitting in a bus, the bus is about to leave. Okay, the bus is at rest. And you are inside the bus, you are also at rest. Now, I can consider you the part of the bus. Now, while you are sitting, what happens? From your waist, the upper portion of your body, and from your waist, the lower portion of your body, you have to think two things differently. Now, what happens? Your entire body is at rest when you are sitting in the bus, and the bus is also not moving. Now, suddenly, the bus started moving. Suddenly, it started moving. When it suddenly starts moving, then what happens? Your body goes backwards like this. You feel a backward pull, don't you? Why do you feel this backward pull is? Because the lower portion of your body with the bus goes into the motion. But your upper portion of the body, which was at rest, tends to remain at rest. So even if the bus has moved ahead, the body tries to retain its state of rest. And that's why you feel the backward force. So inertia is actually a force only. From this example, it is very clear that inertia is actually a force only, a retaining force. Nay, to rest me, rest me rahe. To bus to usse kaise aage bad gaya na? To tumhara body us jagah mein rehna cha raha hai. To bus to aage bad gaya, tumhara back portion bhi aage bad gaya. Lekin wo body per kuch ek fraction of second ke liye body ka upper part usi jagah mein rehna chahte hai, to backward bus aage chala gaya, to backward force feel karega. ये हो गया एनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट का दूसरा एग्जांपल थोड़ा पॉज करो सो इफ एनी बडी आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन व्हाई आर पैसेंजर्स सडनली फील्स अ बैकवर्ड जर्क व्हेन द बस सडनली स्टार्ट्स मूविंग देन द आंसर इज ड्यू टू एनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट लेकिन एनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन इज अ दूसरा थिंग एनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन इज अ दूसरा थिंग इन द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट सपोज अ बस इज मूविंग सपोज अ बस इज मूविंग अ बस इज गोइंग लाइक दिस ओके सो योर upper portion lower portion both the portions are in motion now suddenly brake is applied and the bus stops your lower portion comes to rest but your upper portion tends to remain at motion so it will go front so you will feel a forward jerking so if anybody ask you a question that why do you feel a forward jerking when the bus suddenly applies the brake the answer is we feel a forward jerking when bus suddenly applies the brake because due to inertia of motion That is just one word answer. But if anybody asks for uh, one mark answer, two marks or three marks, then you have to explain lower portion, upper portion. Lower portion comes to rest, but the upper portion, due to inertia of motion, tends to remain at motion, and that's why it feels the forward jerk. Done. Pause. Now next is what happens uh, when we uh, jerk the uh, branches. When you jerk the branches, the fruits fall off. This is because of inertia of rest. Because when you jerk the branches, the branch goes into the motion. The fruits, which are little bit heavy, hanging from the branch, tries to remain at the state of rest, and hence, due to that, you know, the one part going into motion, the other part going into rest, uh, or tendency to remain into rest, then the you know the uh, the branch through which it is holding that will snap, and the fruit will fruit will break down and fall down. Are you getting my point? Is this understood? that uh, suppose there is a running bus okay this is another example 